Hello students, welcome to this video where we're going to go over some Python coding. So we go into the module in Blackboard. This is the module here. There is a quiz. It's a terms quiz. Um, I'm trying to gain access to uh, a document that will help us help you go through this quiz. Um, I went through this again and most of the items, uh, if you use Mr. Google, you'll be able to do, uh, you'll be able to do fairly well on it. So the Python coding platform is uh, shown there right here with this link. It's going to open up to something that looks like this where you have to sign up. You can sign up using Google, Facebook, um, or you can create an account another way. And here is back here. Here is our assignment. That we're going to go through. I want to kind of show you a few things to do here. Your assignment uh, is based on some of the the coding that I'll show you. This is a very um, a quick introduction look into Python coding. We're not going to go uh, any more extensive than this assignment. Other courses that you take in your uh, diploma or your degree may uh, go further into Python coding. So we open this up. This is basically the introduction here. A um, couple things here. We can run. This is your key button here to run it. And it's basically going to do what the program, the, the commands that are listed in the program. We can stop at any time. We can share. Saving is important later on, as I'll say. But what I want to do is we don't need all of this up here. Now, if you decide to keep it, that's fine. What I would recommend is put your name somewhere in here. You'll notice that there's some green quotation marks up front and some green quotation marks on line seven. Basically, anything in here is not going to show up. It's just going to, <clears throat> it's just going to print hello world. So we don't need any of this. As I said, if you do keep it, that's fine. But we can enter a pound sign there, enter your name as per the instruction, have your name somewhere in there, and basically run this and nothing's going to show because we're not doing anything. That pound sign um, or hashtag basically is telling the, the computer that they ignore this line. So the first thing we want to do is create a code asking for two pieces of input from the user. So we do this by... Um, by creating a string, yes, input a string. So what we're going to do is we're going to name this. We're going to name it name. We're going to ask the user for his or her name. So name one equals input. You don't need to have that number with that name in white there. I do because later on I may ask for another uh, um, input with wanting someone's name. So the commands are in red, quote, um, brackets, quotation mark is basically what is going to um, show up on the screen. What is your name? And we can try this out. We can run this. I would recommend running it every time we enter a new command or a new code. And what is your name? Quot uh, question mark. Kevin, you'll notice that there's no space after that question mark. I kind of like having a little bit of space. So I'm going to enter that, and we'll see what that looks like. What is your name? Space, Kevin. Let's enter another um, string here. We can go, not age, let's go color. Color1 equals input. So let's ask for the user's favorite color. Well, not actually favorite color. Let's go, what is your third favorite color. We're going to make the, uh, the user really work on this. A question mark space and your brackets. Everything in the brackets is going to show up on the screen. And there's our um, final bracket. So let's run this. What is your name? Easy one. Can't spell it though. What's your third favorite color? Oh, tricky. That's uh, difficult. Well, obviously green is my favorite color. Um, don't really, I'm not a big fan of blue. Um, I wear it a lot, but that's another thing. Um, purple is a good color. 
Yellow? Yellow, definitely not my favorite color. Let's go with red. And there we go. We're done. So we've entered two pieces of code. Um, now we want, what we want to do in step five of our assignment here is create a code that will acknowledge, in other words, print the two pieces of input from the user. So we're going to go, we want to go print. We can go print um, name one. And we can go print color one. And we can run this. So favorite color, third favorite color, red. Kevin red. There we go. We've printed that. But we want to do more than that. I want to embed the uh, input with um, our written statement. So I want to go something like hello space uh, quotation mark comma name one. So it's going to go hello name one. And then we're going to go with a new um, embedded uh, statement at the end. Hello, Kevin. Uh, that is not a good name. What? And same thing with color. We can go um, we're going to actually start with color. We'll go like red. That is a great color. Not ooh giving us some some sass so let's run this what is your name Kevin what's your third favorite color we've already determined that it's red hello Kevin that is not a good name red that is a great color now we see that we may not need a space there and let's just back this up a little bit oops Let's run this because it's just fun running this. Red, that is not a great color. Or sorry, that is a great color. Not. Um, so you'll notice that there's lots of different colors in here. Um, the colors serve a purpose to, to make it a little more visually, um, visually easier to kind of understand what we are um, what we are doing and what we need to be doing um, what we need to be entering here. So you look at these commas. If what happens if we take out one of these commas? We forget a comma. Well, every time we enter a code, let's get in the practice of running it. We'll go, oops, there's a syntax error. It tells us that um, it should tell us. Yeah, there line four. Basically it's pointing to something in line four that's not right. We need to have that comma. I really like commas especially Oxford commas. Very useful. So make sure we put that comma in there. Go back to our assignment. Uh, we've done step five. Step six is to create a code that will concatenate two pieces of input from the user. So uh, this assignment follows the um, manual we have, uh, Python made easy or something like that in Blackboard. So there's further instructions on page 36 to help us understand what co concatenate means. But that basically means to put things together. So we're going to go like this. We're going to go print. We can go name one plus color one. That addition sign basically concatenates everything. So let's run this through again. Kevin red. Kevin red or red, that is a great color, not Kevin red. So we just don't want Kevin red there. What we're going to do is basically go, we're going to add some statement there. Um, that is your pirate name. Let's make sure everything works. Kevin red, Kevin red, that is your pirate name. There we go. So we've done step um, six. We have concatenated. It's a nice word to say. Concatenated two pieces of input from the user. 
Create a code that will ask for a number for the input. Use the INT command. I'm going to show you what happens when we use it and when we take it out. Print the input from the user. Let's go back here. So we want to um, ask the user for some uh, numerical response. So we're going to call that age equals INT uh, bracket um, input. Uh, we're going to go like this. What? No, not what. Not for how. How old are you? Like that. So let's make sure that works before we continue on. Kevin, what is your third favorite color? Red. Hello, Kevin. Pirate name. How old are you? 24. There we go. We're finished. Now we need to print that. So let's enter the print command. Um, let's go something like this. Age is a good number. It is like cheese and wine. They get better with age. There you go. Finally, getting some respect from Python coding. How old are you? 25. 25 is a good number. It is like cheese and wine. They get better with age. There we go. Okay, let's see what else we need to do here. Create a code. Oh, I'm going to show you what happens if we don't have that INT in there. So why do we have this INT instead of just going age equals input, like we did before, like name one equals input? Well, let's take out that that um, a, uh, INT command. Take out that other bracket, and let's see what happens when we run this. It'll still work. But what happens, how old are you? We're expecting a number. So what if the person goes green? It Green is a good number. It is like cheese and wine. Um, you don't want green cheese, though. But basically, something is not right with our code. We know that we have to have that INT in there. And let's have a double bracket at the end. If we can run this. I'll show you what happens running this again. How old are you? If you enter green, it's going to give you an error. Because that INT specifies, it's a command that specifies you need to have uh, a digital answer, a numerical answer in there. 